With the huge success that is Sonic Mania, the next thing Sonic fans have on their mind is, are we getting a Sonic Mania 2? As Sonic Mania is now in my top 10 Sonic games, I'd love to see a sequel to this game. And I definitely believe it's possible that we'd see something like this. And you guys really seem to like my thoughts video on Sonic Heroes 2. So today, I wanna share the things that I'd love to see in a Sonic Mania 2. But first I wanna say something. Sonic Mania stayed very, faithful to the classics but i want sonic mania 2 to not only feel like the old games but to take a step forward and feel like an entirely new experience as a result some of you classic sonic purists may be upset at some of my direction choices but it's my opinion so without further ado let's get into these points the first thing i'd like to see is the sonic 2 hd art style so sonic 2 hd was a fan game that never got finished but they released a playable demo of emerald hill this fan game basically wanted to recreate the entirety of sonic 2 with an HD HD hand drawn art style and it looked beautiful and I'd love for the Sonic Mania sequel to use this art style. Now I have nothing against the 16 bit art style but the hand drawn designs just feel so much more modern and intriguing and they haven't been used before in a Sonic game so it really feels fresh to the eye. Also while we're at it, use Toei Sonic's design for this game. I'll put a little mock up on the screen of how this could look. The second thing I'd like to see, oh you knew this one was coming, all original stages. Now we already know 66% of Sonic Mania's main zones are taken from the classics. So for this game, I'd like to see 100% original zones for the entire game. I don't really think that's asking for much, seeing as every zone from the classics was referenced in some way in Sonic Mania. But if somehow Izuka still manages to force old zones into the game, these would be my top five picks. Marble Zone, Starlight Zone, Hilltop Zone, Aquatic Ruin Zone, and Launch Base Zone. Or if they really wanted, they could take stages from the modern games instead to really make it feel fresh. In that case, the stages I'd love to see would be Windy Valley, Twinkle Park, Crazy Gadget, Egg Fleet, Final Fortress, Flame Core, Kingdom Valley, Aquatic Base, Eggman Land, and Tropical Resort. These stages were picked mainly due to me loving the aesthetic and the music, as I know the level design is going to be much different in classic Sonic form. The third thing I'd love to see in this game is a new name. I mean, I know the video is called Sonic Mania 2, but I feel the name Mania refers to the mix of old and new content. And if this game is going to be 100% original, then I wouldn't mind an original name for the game as well. So that means not the name Sonic 5 either. Something truly unique. I have no idea what it would be because I'm guessing the name would be related to whatever the story focus is for the game. But I'm sure they'd come up with something good. The fourth thing I'd love to see in this game is other playable characters with unique abilities. In before the classic Sonic purists come and tell me, it's a classic Sonic game, you can't have modern characters in the game. No, the classics added new playable characters. Sonic 2 added added Tails, Sonic 3 and Knuckles added Knuckles. I would definitely love to see characters like Shadow and Silver playable. And just like Tails and Knuckles, they'd have their own unique abilities. Maybe Shadow could have a boost, making him the broken character that you unlock after you've beaten the game with Sonic. Or maybe he'd be usable only in no save mode or something. And maybe Silver could levitate like how he did in 06, and destroy badniks with his psychokinesis. Plus, there were always certain routes in Sonic 3 and Sonic Mania where only Tails or Knuckles could go. So maybe even have some routes in the game where only Silver could go with his powers. And I wouldn't mind some other modern characters as well, but it would also be nice to see Amy playable, Blaze, and others. And this brings me to my next point, which is custom character duos. This is basically like the feature in Sonic Advance 3, where you can select any two characters, one as a main character and the other as a side character, and get access to different abilities depending on the character combination. Imagine how fun that would be to mix and match any characters in any combination you want. So if I want to play as Knuckles with Silver as the side character, or Blaze with Sonic as the side character, or Shadow with Tails as the side character, like we've never seen that before. Imagine the ability combinations we'd get, like it would be crazy man. The sixth thing I'd love to see in this game is rail grinding. I mean it wouldn't change the gameplay that much to have it in this Sonic Mania sequel, but in my opinion it would be a nice addition. They could work similar to how rail grinding worked in SA2, so you'd want to spin dash before going on a rail so you can keep your speed when going upwards, and maybe if you run out of speed you could just jump off and you'd fall to a lower path in the stage. They can get creative with it, but it would be nice to see it in a classic kind of style game. It's a minor thing, but it'll still be nice to see in the game. Now, the seventh thing that I'd love to see in this game is the half pipe as a bonus stage. Now, I love the special stages in Sonic Mania, and I hope they get brought back for the sequel in a fresh way. But for the bonus stages, I think I've seen enough Blue Sphere for one lifetime. So for this game, maybe bring back the half pipe for the bonus stages. I'm sure they could add a new twist to that as well. Maybe instead of it being a regular half pipe, you add some bottomless pits that you have to avoid and jump over, but you're still collecting rings to progress through the bonus stage. Now I know some people are going to go, oh but Blue Sphere is underused and Halfpipe is overused. 
used but to be honest i just love the half pipe more so i'm gonna be biased towards that now the eighth thing and one of the most important things that i'd love to see in this game is an online mode like seriously why wasn't competition mode online but yeah make the multiplayer online and also there should be an online co-op mode so two people can play through the main game together online this is something that sonic 4 did that i thought would be pretty standard for sonic mania but i didn't see it there so in the sequel this should definitely be a thing also i wouldn't mind some new multiplayer modes as well for example sonic rivals 2 had some pretty great multiplayer that i think it's quite underrated they had different modes like king of the hill knockout etc and it would be great to see that kind of multiplayer in the sonic mania sequel as well imagine knocking out your opponents in a multiplayer mode trying to take their rings out and shit a perfect example of this would be sonic bash which is a rom hack by red hot sonic where you and another player go head to head and face off against bosses picked from sonic 1 and sonic 2 the objective is to hit the boss as many times as possible and whichever player gets the most hits when the time runs out wins the round and you can go for several rounds and select whichever stage you want so imagine this implemented in a mania sequel where you can face off against all the bosses in the game in multiplayer mode and see who can get the most hits on each boss doing it either locally or online these are all just some examples of some of the innovative things i want to see in the sonic mania sequel now the ninth thing that i'd love to see in this game is Egget as a recurring boss now if you don't know who Egget is it's actually a fan character i know right a fan character but it's a really well designed fan character based off Eggman showing up upside down in the Flying Battery Act 2 boss. And a lot of fans are taking a liking to this fan character, myself included. I think she'd be a really great addition to the Sonic Mania sequel because she's kind of like Eggman's protege in a sense that she looks up to him and wants to be just like him. I'd imagine Egget functioning kind of like how the Hard World Heavies functioned in Sonic Mania, being that they were the main bosses that you faced off against when you weren't facing off against Eggman. That being said, I don't think Egget should try and betray Eggman at the end of the game like the Hard World Heavies did in Sonic Mania. Instead, we could get a really epic boss of Egget and Eggman joining forces to face off against Super Sonic. Now for the final thing that I'd love to see in this game, TJ Davis on the special stage music. Now the original Sonic Mania had special stages that kind of reminded me of Sonic R, so imagine having the woman who sang on the Sonic R soundtrack collaborate with T Lopes to make an epic special stage theme for this game. The Sonic R songs are so amazing. I listen to that soundtrack all the time and TJ Davis did an amazing job with her voice and we haven't seen her another sonic game since so it really would be nice to see her come back even if it's just for one song in the game for the special stages and if it wasn't already obvious yes t lopes would be working on the soundtrack for the entire game also on the topic of special stages it would be really nice if you could replay the special stages from the main menu after you beat them this is a feature that sonic 4 had that i really wanted to see in mania so i definitely want this to be available in the sonic mania sequel but yeah these are my thoughts on Sonic Mania 2. If I didn't mention something in particular, it's probably because I don't have anything to add as it was already executed perfectly in the original Sonic Mania. For example, stuff like the story and the level design. I mean, the Mania team did an outstanding job with this game. So my thoughts here are mainly just nitpicks with a few fresh ideas that would really make the Sonic Mania sequel stand out. But let me know what you guys think about my ideas. What would you like to see in a Sonic Mania 2? But yeah, man, Doremi out.